Have you ever tried to install Mac OS on your Windows PC? If not, let's do it today. Hey guys, this is Ankit from the Guys Computer and today we will run a Mac OS Al Capitan on a virtual machine in Windows PC. So before we start, you must have a RAM of 4GB, you must have 4GB RAM. Second, you have to download VMware Workstation and the most important thing you have to download the OS X file El Captain file from the internet all the links will be in the description below so first of all I have already installed VMware workstation you can download it from the link below and next I already have this OS X file which is of 6.76 gigabyte uh, the torrent link is in the description now, uh, if you require, if you are interested in text version, then this is the best website. Text viewer, text viewer. It have all the text, text, and the other all links are working, so you can read this. Now, after the extraction, I have got this OS X captured, and it is a .vmdk file, which is of 11.2 GB. Now. I will open VMware workstation. Now I will create a new virtual machine. Select I will install the operating system later. Now here, look at this. There is no option to create. Uh, there is no option for Mac OS. Even if you check on other, uh, there will be no op option. Now for that we have to crack or patch this VMware workstation. Now here is a uh, tool which can crack or something modify that VMware player so that it can run Mac OS in this I will right click on in install run as administrator and click on yes now here is something going on and let's wait what will happen after that all right this had finished its job now let's start VMware workstation now we'll click on create a new virtual machine and here when I click next here I have found this Apple Mac OS now the latest version we have 10.11 let's check it out what version we are running it's 10.11 now I will select this click on next and that's the right name OSXL Captain EL that's enough okay click on next now select store virtual disk in a single file now I'll click on finish here is my virtual machine and after that I will go on settings now uh, 2 GB is good if you have a 6 GB of RAM then you can increase it to 4 GB that will be great like uh, the 4 processors uh, let's make it to 3 now it's all good display I want some good number of recommended alright I have a good graphic card so increasing this will be great now here what I have to do is click on add after that select the hard disk now it's already on SATA recommended and click on use an existing existing virtual disk click and I'll browse the file here is the is my dot wait 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 I will navigate to the OS X file which was downloaded it is VMDK file now click on open and just click on mm, can convert to new support viral to a hover you can uh, okay what should I do uh, let us keep existing format let's see what happens and after that I will remove this hard drive so at uh, 40 GB let's click on this okay now half of my work is done now the next thing which I have to do is 
go to this PC navigate to documents and here's the virtual machine the OS XL caption folder and VMX file dot VMX look for dot VMX if you if uh, uh, the extension is not being shown up you have just click on view option and then view and uh, just check this uncheck this the height extension of no uncheck this and click on apply you will see all the extensions of these all right now look for the VMX file here right click here and open with notepad now we have to add a, f a simple value here and I will copy that value from this website it is a nice website you, you must check it out if you prefer text already uh, where is that look for it here is the code right here just put it in uh, control C copy and control V paste and just click on control S save it if you will try to run this OS X without doing all this process then it VMware workstation will give an error I already had done that <laughs> three or four times now it's time to run this machine uh, that battery will be restarted mm, it's going on and here we go now something is going let's wait and watch okay click on okay it's good if I click on full screen I have to change the resolution later yes success we have run the Mac OS now let's see how much time it will take to boot up I will really fast forward this all process okay uh, okay there is already an account as I previously had installed this so there was but there will be a couple of things you would be asked to fill by this OS and I already had done that in previous when I installed it for the first time now what will be the password let's see all right this had been installed successfully I wanted to show you the all the install process but <clears throat> my workstation had already previously installed on this machine so this is the OS L Capitan right now it's uh, like lagging a little bit so I need to install VMware tools I will create a next video how to install VMware tools to make it more fast so guys I hope this video had helped you in installing Mac OS on your Windows PC uh, for further more updates on Mac in Windows Stay tuned to our channel, The Guy's Computer. Thanks for watching and goodbye.